everyone, Nia here, and I have another double unboxing for you from The Witch's Roots and The Witch's Moon. Uh, this is December 2021, and this will be my last Witch's Roots box. All right, so like I say in previous videos, this is more of a walkthrough rather than an unboxing uh, because I cannot wait until a camera is on me before I open my stuff. So <laughs> this is a walkthrough. So we are going to do the Witch's Moon first. And I really liked this box. So we've got um, the paperwork here with the Oracle card and I got Embrace the Masculine with like a green man type figure here really like the back of these cards this is really pretty in fact i'm going to look in here to see what deck this is um so the theme of this uh month is the yuletide destiny and let's see if i can find the the card personalized oracle reading from the messenger oracle this is a very pretty backing so i'm definitely going to check out this oracle um, very nice. Um, so the information we get is two pages um, and it basically details everything that is in the box. And then we get a third page that is, if I can actually get the third page here, that is totally blank for any spell work or things like that. So um, I say this in every one of these unboxings though, but I really wish they would put the information front and back. That way it saves paper but that's just my personal gripe <laughs> that I have every time I open one of these, but there we go. All right, so the uh, little sheet here is uh, Remembered and re Reborn, and it's a little um, like incantation or something like that. Within the shadows of the long night, deep within my rights, I find comfort upon a can the candlelight. Oh goddess, I am so grateful for the blessings given. I am so honored to have gained so much for within these dark months, my spirit and uh, practice have forever been touched. Within my shadows, I have found that strength and perseverance are abounded. Uh, and with each step of clearer sight, I stand unbothered and full of might. Uh, as, so as we soon celebrate the light reborn, we honor, remember, and adorn. Uh, we shed our pain, our hurt, our angst, and waltz upon the foundation laid. Uh, within the shadows of the long night, deep within the, my rights, I find comfort upon the candlelight. Blessed be. And with the witch's moon down here. And this is written by G. Ibis. Um, and I... This is A.E. Alden's stamp, so A.E. Alden did the artwork for this. Um, yeah, very nice. The only, I think, um, uh, issue I think I have with this is I wish it was made to be this exact size because I don't quite like the extra little bit on the ends here, but that's just, that's just me. <laughs> All right, so we have the uh the artwork for this month and beautiful as always absolutely love it um ae alden alden is an amazing artist and i just love their work i mean the artwork is the number one reason i continue to get these boxes um yeah so uh this month is all about tassiomancy which is awesome and tassiomancy is tea leaf reading uh it's also called uh tassiography i think or something like that <laughs> but yes so tea leaf reading and i'm so excited about this i've been wanting to kind of dip my toes into um tea leaf reading well not really dipping my toes because that would be gross because you know <laughs> you're drinking the tea but uh you know, I, I've always wanted to get into tea leaf reading. I just never have. And um, yeah, so uh, spoiler alert, we are getting a beautiful tea set. So I love it. Um, and then the accompanying artwork is this Yule Blessing, which also has the same um, uh, tea set here. Uh, plus every like almost everything else we're getting. We didn't get cinnamon sticks. Um, but yeah, so candle uh, it's like they drew everything almost everything in the box um yeah very beautiful and uh probably some sort of spell or or uh ritual um for uh 
tea leaf reading for Yule. Beautiful. So we got some Yule oil. Very nice. There's a stone in there. And I think I see some, a little bit of herbs. Not a whole lot of herbs, but there are some herbs in there. It smells nice. So some Yule oil. And then we have winter blessing salt. Oh, I don't think I opened this when I first went through this. Ooh, that smells nice. Ooh, I really like the smell of the salt. Ooh, it's very like clovey and, and I see clove right there. Almost licorice smelling, which makes sense. I really like the smell of that. That's yummy smelling. <laughs> All right, so we have, so instead of three, because a lot of times in these witches moon boxes, we get either three herbs or two herbs in a tea. And this box, we get one herb and we have essentially two teas. And here's a tea bag as well. So for the herb, we have golden bough, which I believe is mistletoe, which very fitting. <laughs> Then um, we have Winter's Prophecy Tea, which is gonna be excellent, I think, um, and probably use it for the tea leaf reading. And then we have some mulling spices, um, and this is uh, ritual herbal tea, but mulling spices, that sounds delicious. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, our Yule Cinnamon uh, incense sticks, and I'm guessing it's gonna smell like cinnamon. It does smell like cinnamon. All right, nice. And I didn't mention this, but I am in, I am not in my ritual room right now. I am in my art studio, and that is because our house is um, going through some demolition and renovations right now. So uh, I'm locked out of my ritual room right now, essentially. I mean, I can actually go in there, but um, that room is not insulated. So uh, I need heat if I'm gonna go in there in the winter and the power is off in that room right now because it's connected to one of the rooms that's being renovated right now. So I don't really have access to that room. So um, I brought my Kiki's Delivery Service uh, um, cloth in here and I'm on my, uh, my art desk right now. So um, yeah, I might have to, be in here for the next several videos i don't know beautiful candle my favorite color is green so that really like that and that uh very fitting for yule nice and finally the beautiful 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 piece i'm so excited about this ah uh, so very lovely look at this gorgeous set look at this this is stunning. Like, I've always wanted a tea leaf reading cup, and I've I've had them on my wish list here and there, but then would take them off. I, I just never got around to actually getting a tea leaf reading cup. And uh, I saw someone else's video, and I'm really glad I did because I did not know that underneath this was a plate. And I did not know this was here. So, beautiful beautiful set i mean look at this this is stunning i'm going to set this over to the side so it's out of the way here and this is just so pretty um and it's got all these uh all the the 12 zodiac signs and then the planetary uh signs in here very lovely and then the plate has the the two uh intertwining snakes as well as the sigil, which I'm sure the information uh, sheet will explain uh, what, the, uh, what the sigil means. And this is just, like, I, I mean, this is the reason why I'm continuing this box because I, I'm, I'm always blown away with everything that we get in the Witch's Moon box. Um, yeah, so with that said, let's move on to the box that I'm not gonna be keeping anymore. <laughs> And that is the Witch's Roots box. The Witch's Roots. Okay. So, the information sheet. This is uh, an evening ritual. 
and uh, with the witch's roots, we only get one sheet of information. So there we go. And so the reason I've, I'm stopping this box, the witch's roots box, I've had it for, gosh, a year and a half now, I think. I, quite some time, maybe even close to two years. Um, but, um, and there have been boxes that I got from the witch's roots that I absolutely loved. And here's a sigil. I'm sure the paperwork will tell me what to use this for. Is it the same sigil on the, no, it's not the same sigil on the, on the tea cup, but, um, yeah. And I've been really, really happy with many of the boxes that I got from the witch's roots, but I've been, but there's been just far too many boxes that I'm have, I've just been disappointed in. I'm never disappointed in the artwork though. And this is, this was the main reason I kept getting this box, even though I knew I was no longer going like enjoying a lot of what the, I was getting in these boxes, the artwork I've, I've always been thrilled with. So uh, I am really, really excited about this. Um, so we've got Moss Agate, which uh, I really, really like Moss Agate. Yeah, I really like Moss Agate and this is a beautiful artwork. And then we have uh, Green Tea and with, um, yeah, beautiful, love it. So yeah, and this is a, uh, like, um, like the Shakti or, or Green Tara, the Green Tara, that's what this is. Oh, sorry, my uh, Alexa made a noise. All right. Now the herbs. Uh, so with this box, it usually comes with one large herb thing, um, but it looks like we're getting two different teas, which is very interesting and a bit different for this box. So I like some stuff that's a bit different. So we have one tea that's called uh, Dreamscapes. And this is uh, a, a, blend of, uh, a blend of tea, um, ritual herbal tea. And then we have our Chun Mei, and this is a green tea. And this would be great to use with that teacup as well. I think this would be a great tea leaf reading herb. Um, and then we have rope incense, which I'm always happy about. I like rope incense. It smells really nice. I don't know what the scent is. Um, let me see if the paperwork says. So what is the rope incense? It is sandalwood. Huh. I didn't immediately get sandalwood, but yeah, sandalwood. Love it. I, lo I love rope incense because you know what I like about the rope incense? Um, yeah, it's a little more difficult to use. I mean, ugh because I usually just lay it down and, um, and usually that's no problem, but every once in a while, um, it might stop. Um, so the best thing is to hang it on something because there's a little loop at the end of these. Um, so you can get uh, a little stand and hang it from, uh, the stand and then it will have no problem. But in general, I have no problem just laying it in a fire safe dish and letting it uh, burn out. But I like that it's smaller than uh, big incense sticks because sometimes these just take too long, you know? And this is uh, a much shorter amount of time and I like that. All right, and then the candle, which I did not cut. I don't think I opened this candle. <laughs> All right, I have my Cricut scissors here to uh, open this. I like to open it like that because I don't like ripping the paper. All right, so this candle is a beautiful, like dark uh, teal. It's, I would say green, but it's 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 like a it's a little bluier than than green. It's it's kind of a dark teal, and what a beautiful color! I love teal is one of my favorite colors too. So definitely happy with the candles in these two boxes. And finally, the big item um, is a tea ball. And I don't really know how to feel about it. <laughs> I mean, I do like that it, it fits and it goes along with the previous box. So I like that. Um, 
I, I like the t that the two boxes go together and I do very much like the charm that's hanging off of this. It's very, uh, kind of makes me think of a Triscoll and it says, let your spirit unfurl. So I do very much like the charm and I'm always going to uh, find use out of a, um, a tea strainer thing like this, a tea ball. <laughs> um, but it's a bit, because uh, it is basically like a necklace because it's just they basically took a tea ball and they put one of the charm instead think of the tea ball here as the chain for a necklace and here's the pendant so you know um what's nice though is i could probably switch this out and use a different uh one of the other ones that they've given me in the past i might actually you know now that i'm thinking of it one of the other ones that i got the it's kind of a psychic one that might work for tea leaf reading so could do and then I could wear this as a necklace because this is kind of pretty I do like this as a bit of a necklace but yeah so it does feel like a necklace um to me and you know how <laughs> that's the main reason why I'm not getting these boxes anymore um just too many of those necklaces I have way too many and that more than I know what to do with some of them I don't even like um so that's why I I'm deciding to uh um, cancel the witch's roots but I'm still very much getting the witch's moon um yeah and oh I just want to put this teacup back in the frame just for a little bit longer here all right thank you so much for watching everyone have a great day bye